two straight days of rain has the res on the rise, and that's led to closures along the spillway. WJTV12's Katie Rowe is live there. Katie. Yeah, Margaret Ann, uh, fishermen can only fish on this side of this recreational fishing area because the other side is blocked off by barricades. And if you look out there, you can see why it is completely underwater. Now, by Tuesday, the reservoir discharge is expected to peak at 34,000 cubic feet per second, which is a lot of water. Now, that volume will determine how high the Pearl River in Jackson rises. It's predicted to reach 33 feet. That amount will slightly impact traffic any higher, and people will really start to see the effects. But this amount of flooding isn't unusual for the reservoir. The last four years, we've had three. Uh, floodwaters of this magnitude. So it's, it is, while on one hand it's routine, it is something we pay very close attention to and we, we manage as well as possible. Now, two more inches of rain is predicted for today, and you can stay up to date with those, with the flash flooding and the numbers and how high the reservoir and the Pearl River are by visiting our website, WJTV.com. There's a link to the National Weather Service's website. For now, we are live at the reservoir, Katie Rowe, WJTV 12.